Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Pakal24, and today I'm going to be doing a thing on my game collection that I have here. Um, first one here is Grand Theft Auto 4. Best game ever. I love it. Now, how guys prepare for driving in life, what they do to prepare is they play Grand Theft Auto. But what girls do, I don't know. Buy this. It's an awesome, awesome game. Um, another game I have is L.A. Noir. It's a pretty cool game. It's It lets you be like a detective and stuff. And um, you get to like solve crimes and all that. It's pretty cool. My newest game I got, actually, is Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013. And, um, I actually finished it, um, two days ago on a campaign. It was pretty good. I mean, it's an interesting story. The kid is hunting with his brother. And this kid, um, his brother, he's out hunting with his father and brother, and um, his he doesn't get along well with his bro his, his older brother, I guess. And um, the father ends up getting killed by a grizzly bear. So they grow up, and the older brother, um, he what he does is he hunts big game because of his father being killed by a bear. So he just starts hunting big game animals, and cut because of that he's doing he's doing that because of that. And then there's this black lion um, that ends up like messing. Well, they went to Africa, Africa, and um, they ended up getting in trouble. The brother, the older brother, did because there was a black lion, and the older brother was going after it to kill it. But the older brother didn't know, didn't know better. Um, he should have, he didn't know better. He should have took taken his little brother with him for backup. But so he went without his little brother, and he ended up getting in trouble. But the little brother went after him, cause so and the little brother was um, following in it, following his tracks. And um, the little brother gets bitten by a snake, and the older brother comes and helps him, and then that's when the older brother gets in trouble with the uh, bear. The bear goes after him, or uh, sorry, the lion goes after him, and uh, the little brother ends up killing the lion and uh, saving his brother because his brother almost falls off a cliff. And uh, next game I have is Madden 2011. Pretty good. I like it. Um, next one uh, is NCAA football 2011. Pretty good too. Then Battlefield Bad Company. That was easy. I finished that in like the day I, like a day after I bought it. Cause I didn't play it the day I bought it, but I played it the day after I think. You know, maybe I did play it the day I bought it. But I finished it, like, that night. I finished it. It was easy. It was quick. Um, this one, uh, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. It came with my PS3. It was a bundle thing. Uh, my PS3 is 250 gigabytes. And, um, it's pretty nice. I like it. I've only, I got it, um, for, on the 29th of December last year. So, I haven't had it. I've had it for a pretty good amount of time. So, I mean, I like it. But uh, this Uncharted game, you're pretty much an explorer, and you get to go around and, like, find this treasure, because there's this guy. I think the guy, the guy, this, the guy in the picture is chasing after the treasure, because there's, um, I forget, I think the treasure guy's name not the guy in the picture, but the other, the guy who owns the treasure that he's looking for is, like, Drake, and he, like, 
makes a bunch of clues and stuff for this guy to, and this guy ends up finding all the clues and I think he en fi ends up finding the treasure. I haven't finished Uncharted yet. I think then I bought this brand new with my PS when I got my PS3 the day I got it so I would have a game to play. I think it's my favorite game pretty much, Battlefield 3. I love it. I think I've already finished it like two or three times on story mode, so it's pretty fun. What I don't like about it is the the premium. It pretty much has an it's a hack. It's an aimbot hack. It's stupid. So they're paying people are paying like 50 bucks just so they can aimbot people. I mean, that's cheating. It's cheating and it's stupid. Why would you want to do it? Why would you not want to put in the effort to get something out of it? Or to get something from your effort? I mean, that's what I think. But, yeah, I'm, I think I'm like the highest ranking out of all my friends. So, online, I think. But I'm not very, I, I wouldn't say I'm ranked very high, really. Out of all, out of everybody. I mean, I think I'm like a 20, oh, I can see I'm playing, I have it up right now. Some guns. I've unlocked all of those. Um, no headshots. I have more than that. I have a couple headshots. I've had more than that. Not zero. Let's look at my stats. Oh, I'm a. I'm on my way to being a. a Two-star gunny sergeant. Gunnery sergeant. Or a three-star gunnery sergeant. But I'm a two-star gunnery sergeant now. Um, that's my stats and stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's, like, one of my favorite games, I guess. So, buy it. Buy Battlefield and Grand Theft Auto. I play Call of Duty a little bit at my friend's house. And, I mean, like... There's a di you can tell the difference between Battlefield and Call of Duty. Battlefield has more realistic stuff. Like Battlefield like in Call of Duty you don't have to be aiming on the guy and if you if like in Call of Duty you can shoot at him. Like you don't have to be directly on him and it'll still kill him. But in Battlefield you, if you shoot direct you can't just shoot at them. You have to shoot directly on them. And it'll kill them if it hits. But it's pretty, it's like more realistic. Battlefield is more realistic than Call of Duty. But, yeah. So. That's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter if you want. At M. Raquel. Capital M, capital B. So, later YouTube.